Hey guys, Edstar here. Um, I've kind of fucked up a little bit here. Um, it seems to me that because I ran out of storage earlier, I accidentally deleted the wrong footage. Um, I do apologise for that. It is totally my fault. So you are not going to see the remaining game against Bayer Leverkusen. I do need to let you know we did lose. So we lost top spot of the group and we drew Barcelona in the round of 16 of the Champions League so I just need to clear that up now I do apologize for the fact that you're not gonna see that episode I've I fucked up massively here I hold my hands up if you want to dislike the video I fully deserve it so um, hopefully you enjoy today's episode I filmed this today um, we took on um, Southampton which is a very you're gonna see my reaction to it it's very bullshit you know, it's gonna it's gonna get worse. You know. Um, then we had a simulated game against West Ham, a simulated game against Sheffield United. I'm not gonna tell you the score because it will just spoil the video. Um, then we had a FA Cup game against Preston. Um, again, I'm not gonna reveal the score because it will spoil the video. Um, so you might see. Um, all I'm gonna say is you might see a lot of rage this video, and yeah, it's it's going to be entertaining to some people it's not going to be entertaining to everyone if it's not to your um, taste I do apologize for that but it's my fault I shouldn't have de shouldn't have deleted the footage from yesterday because I'm a total idiot um, hopefully you enjoy this episode today um, if you do please make sure you leave a like you subscribe to the channel I'll leave a an eye in the top right hand corner to go and check out my instant reaction to Patrick Vieira becoming our new manager um, if you enjoy that, then um, please make sure you leave a like. Um, let's get into the video. Yo guys, how's it going? Ed Star here, back with another FIFA 21 career mode video. We are now on episode 52 of the season. Um, season six, season season eight episode six. I'm sorry, I can't get my words out already. I'm talking enough shit, as you guys know. Um, we are on episode 52. We are very close to the January transfer window, so we will be playing Villa um, Barcelona in the next in the next episode of this. Um, in today's episode, I intend to cover up until the uh, oh, it's quite a busy month in. Um, January so I might play a couple of these games I'll probably be playing Tottenham and Manchester United in that month um, I will play this game against Southampton and skip West Ham and Sheffield United um, skip Preston skip Leeds because I'm not bothered about that it is the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup but I'm not bothered by that and I will play Tottenham and Manchester United and skip the rest of the month and conclude January so it is going to be a long episode this one so if you're not subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. It would help the channel out, help me get to 100 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get into this game against Southampton. Um, this is my team to take on Southampton. Um, I've just seen that Boucher is on his way back. He is going to be fit very, very soon. Um, he's not eligible to start this game though because he's still recovering. So Ruiz will get his chance. So let's go. One man, the focus of attention. In a rich vein of form, a number one in the scoring charts. Can he do it again today? Live on EA TV. Okay, guys, here we go. Southampton, match day 17. I think this is the a Premier League weather. season. A you would have seen in the intro Boys. there that Mills is on 18 I goals for the season. He's eight the clear of anybody else. Eight. He is just destroying the Premier League right now. He is running our season as he does every fucking season. Brilliant, brilliant player. You know, this is going to be a very difficult game though because Southampton are seventh on the table and they want to try and catch up to us. But we are the favourites. We should win this game. Let's go. Oh, Mills is in already. And Mills is going to hit the post. Oh, we can't keep it in. That's what Mills can do. You can just drive past defenders. Like they're not even there. Already hit the post and it's only three minutes in. A disappointing end to the move. That's it. Let's go. Mills. Mills put the ball in. Oh, that's a terrible ball. 
not exactly where he wanted it, but Dos Santos can do something with it. Oh, he's just glided through the man, not even there. Oh, what a pass! What a great pass that was! Mills nearly found someone on the end of that, but what the... Think about the ball there! Rabunio's going to get a very stupid yellow card, because that wasn't even a fucking foul. Mills make a run. Or just don't, and you can just glide through them anyway. Mills is just at the heart of everything in this team. Space on the side here. Still passing it around with authority. Redmond. It has to oh, great save from Matson there. Beautiful save. He had absolutely no right to make that save. Well, beaten easily here. Oh, too easy. Square it in the middle. Got to be a goal. Dos Santos. Of course it's a goal. Of course it's a goal. Or whenever it's them to involve, of course it's a goal. Oh, you're fucking love to see it. That's just going to be my trademark for the channel well, now. You can just sense that, can't you? Great through ball in the middle there from the Mills. Squares it, 2v1. You, no, no chance. He's in no man's land, the keeper. Football. But it's the goal we've deserved. We've been the much better team so far. And we've finally got our goal. Come on, boys. Oh, great. He's found a spot there. Of course it's Redmond. Why am I not surprised it's Redmond? He always fucking scores against us. Every fucking time. Who the fuck was marking him in the box there? Boys, come on. They don't even deserve that. They've not even been that good. I want to see this again. Who the fuck was marking him? If that's Bailey again, I fucking swear. It's Bailey again, isn't it? Bailey, I s This prick is pissing me off. He's absolutely pissing me off. Well, he's I might even, I'm, I'm seriously tempted to replace him now. If I can find someone else, I will. He's just not good enough. Oh, fuck off. Keeper, come out. Oh, fucking hell, Keeper! Madison, I swear to God, what are you doing? And just like that, they've turned the game on its head from two chances out of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Rubbish, boys. What are we doing? There we go. Oh, Mills. Make it 2 2. Make it 2 2, Mills. How have you missed that? You would not expect him to do that. Oh, my God. That is a poor finish. There we go. Might have one more chance. Oh, he saved it double. Double save there from Mills, but I have absolutely no idea how we are losing this game. I mean, they've had two chances. Two chances, and I think they've taken them both. I mean, we, they, they don't deserve to be winning this game. We've got to turn this around. We can't afford to lose this game. Come on, boys, please turn this around. Boys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where is the defensive marking? God, I'm starting to wonder why I bothered with this. This is disgraceful, boys. It's not good enough. We need to sort it out now. Otherwise, we've got no chance against Barcelona. Come on, right, let's go. Come on, Mills. Need to see him score. Come on. Oh, fuck off, keeper. Every fucking time this keeper's saving it. Fucking hell. Not good enough, boys. This is not good enough. It's another save from Madison. He's already given one away. Now, let's see what they can do here. Who's marking these lads? Boys! What are we doing? What are we doing? Do you know what? This is starting to piss me off now. What are we doing? Who wants the ball? Who wants to make a run?
Yes, thank you, Ruiz. Right, let's go. Jesus Christ, how long has that taken us? Need two more. Well, here's the replay, Derek. At least the two more. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Let's go again. Mills make a run. This looks promising. There we go, Mills. Come on. Oh, come on. Fucking keeper. There we go. Come on, Dos Santos. Got to score. Got to score. What are we... Why are you going straight at the keeper? No, oh, piss off, mate. Trying to do that shit with me. There we go. Put him in. Come on, Dos Santos. Go to score this. There we go. 4-3. Have we got a chance? Probably not. Seven goal thriller. Get up. Get up! How is that a penalty? Fuck off! No, I'm sorry, that is not a penalty. That is not a penalty. Watch this again. Let's have a look. No, I'm sorry, that's not a penalty. He falls over his own dick. No, I'm sorry. That's not a penalty. Watch this go in. No, thank you. Good save from Atson. Alright, let's go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Dos Santos. Get the ball there. He's in with a chance. Come on, Dos Santos. What is that? Are you and joking? This match to an end. A day of what is that? Palace, oh, my God. You have a chance to get us a point, and you do that shit. Fuck off. This game is a joke. Oh, my God. You're having a laugh. And I've just made two changes from the team that played against Southampton. Um, Mass and Akinjide will come in for um, Ayorfa and Rabunyel. Rabunyel got booked in the last game. So I'm giving him a bit of a rest for this game. Let's see if we can grab th three points. Uh, we do grab three points. Mass gets his goal. Uh, Mill gets, Mills gets a goal. And we return to winning ways. So that's nice to see. You wait for team of the year midfielder shortlist. I think I just saw. Oh yeah. Two of our players in there. Is that Cisnega and Barbosa? Yeah. I think it is. Nice to see them two in there. Yeah. Definitely. Proud to see them two in there. So. Can we beat 20th place Sheffield United? Top against bottom. Should. Okay. We only draw 1-1 one -one against bottom place Sheffield United. Yeah, I really understand your logic there, FIFA, EA. Makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, so we now hit January. So Kravchenko's gone a two-year loan spell. Campbell has left to go to Marseille. Good luck for the future. Sagers has gone to West Ham. Um, dreesen has gone to Brentford. And Gunva's gone to Sassuolo. So I might need to strengthen the squad a little bit. I've got a couple of players in mind. Um, I will show you my shortlist very shortly, but... This is the U Squad monthly report for January. Um, Schmidt, 79 to 94. I changed his position to a centre back because he's six foot five. He's definitely not a centre defensive midfielder, um, and that definitely looks like to be the right decision because he's growing very nicely. Um, Christy Simo, 87 to 93. I could probably change him to a centre back, but his defending is quite low, so he's definitely in the right position for me. Um, Going to keep this kid in the academy for as long as I can because. He's just not going to grow, you know, being in the first team. Jepad Nezevich, Nezevich, I've changed his position to a, a cam. He's gone up to 66 with that. Very nice player all round. And finally, Chris Kask, he's still only 15, but he's gone up to 67. He's very close to 68. Um, definitely going to promote this kid when he turns 16 because he looks a quality player. These two in particular, definitely going to promote when they turn 16. Okay, so this is my current shortlist that I've got at the moment. Um, I have got a backup keeper in uh, Euro Spora from Fiorentina. He looks like he's the um, Oblak regen, or he might be the Handanovic regen. Um, I definitely have intentions to buy a new goalkeeper, you know, give Madison, you know, a scare. Because uh, these games I've been playing with Madison, he's just not been good. And I feel like he deserves some competition. Then we've got Luca Arnaiz Diaz. Um, I don't need a centre back right now, but I might bring one in just in case, you know, one of our three main centre backs, you know, Hernandez, 
um, John and Malagoni, one of them get injured, I won't have another backup centre back. So I might be interested in bringing in another centre back. Got Petar Melnyk, uh, Croatian. This must be the Modric region. Um, 81 rated at 22 years old. Very, very decent. I'm definitely going to bring in another centre midf um, midfielder because I just let um, two midfielders go. So I'm going to bring him in, you know, not now, but later on in the window. This is the um, Albamyang region, Jim Buanga. Looks very, very handy. You know, 97, 92 acceleration. Very nice to see. Um, Gomez Camacho is the Ronaldo region, 80 rated at 20 years old. Very nice player. Um, Lissandro Alvarez, 79 rated, will do decent. And then we're going into the players that, uh, you know, Trezor's still there, you know, he's still at Rotherham United. Um, but the one I am going to go for right now is I'm going to bring Ronaldo Augusto Moss into the club. I want to give Bailey some competition, I need to give him more of a rest. So I need to bring in a backup right back, so I'm going to bring him in. Okay, so I have brought Moss in. Um, 75 rated he's going to give good competition to Bailey for right back um, I signed him for 9.5 million he was worth 10 and a half so I stole it a bit from Manchester City um, he's only on a prospect role as well so he won't get upset if I don't play him which is brilliant and I'm going to put him on a development plan straight away he's shown great potential so if I play him enough he might gain potential I think his drip passing and defending needs to go up a bit so I'm going to start with um, probably a wide back or a defensive wide back. I'm going to start with his defensive work first. Let's get his you know defence stats up. And I'm probably going to bring that goalkeeper in as well. You know I'm going to bring Sporar in first. Got a lot of money to play with. So let's splash the cash a little bit, shall we? Okay, so I have brought in the Sporar guy. Um, but I did include um, Nardi in the deal the other goalkeeper and um, it was originally for 50 million pounds plus Nardi which was about 16 and a half million so I signed him for about 65 million um, definitely going to give competition to Madison 100% you know he's a, he's a very good keeper you know let's get him up on a development plan as well yeah put him on sweeper keeper he grows in 16 weeks so yeah he could be the answer that we're after you know realistically because I want to give, I need to get some competition in in case there's an injury. Is Petr Melnyk. I'm going to give, need to get some more competition in at centre midfielder and centre attacking midfielder. You know, he could definitely do a decent job there. As well as, you know, definitely a lot more about him than just a centre midfielder. So I'm definitely going to bring him in. I'm not going to pay 136 million for him though. Because that would be daft. Okay, I've kind of fucked up here a bit. Um... I agreed a great price for him, um, 48 and a half million, he's worth 47, but he felt I insulted him with his wages and he walked out. So I kind of fucked up on there, but oh well, I can easily find somewhere else, someone else, you know, to replace him. Okay, this is my lineup to take on Preston North End in the third round of the Emirates FA Cup. Um, Mass will get a goal on the left side. Almera Bakker, who's gone up to 80, will start this game. Moss will start at right back. Akinjido will start at left back. And I'm going to give a debut in goal to Spora. You know, let's see what he can do. But we should, should be beating Preston. Come on, boys. Are you joking? What? What? We've actually lost to Preston. We've actually lost to a championship club. What on earth is that? You should feel ashamed of yourselves, boys, because that's now going to put pressure on me to win the Champions League. That is a disgraceful exit to a championship club. Do you know what? I'm going to have to play this game against Leeds now. I'm going to have to because we need to get to the final. Um, Shedelak's come back from his loan. I probably will send him out on loan again. My team to take on Leeds United. First team is fully fit. We have the return of Aaron Boucher right on the right-hand side. Come on, boys. Please don't let me down any more this episode. It's been a very disappointing episode so far. We've lost two out of three. We've only won one out of these three games. Let's make it number two, please. 
We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup, and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. It's Crystal Palace. They take on Leeds United live on EA TV. Here we go, guys. We are back. Leeds United, first leg of the Carabao Cup well, semi-final. Like Please, come on, boys. Don't annoy me any more this episode. This episode's gone really, really bad so far. Let's go. Let's change our fortunes. Oh, good shot. There we go. Right on the front foot. We were right on the front foot against Southampton. And look what happened there. That's not a foul, then, is it? No? Of course not. Mills. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. There we go, what a ball. What a great ball. Dos Santos gets us the goal. Lovely to see. What a ball that was from Barbosa though. Paint, take everything away from the finish, but think about the ball. The ball into the box was just brilliant. And we lead 1-0 in the semi-final. What a ball. Right in the middle. Beautiful finish. 1 0. Come on, the boys. And firing it into the area. Mills. No, he's not the man you want on the ball. He's not the man you want on the ball. Do you know why? Do you guys know why by now? Because he does finishes like that. Runs through the entire defence. Makes it 2 0. We are in charge of this semi final. What a run that was from Mills. Completely takes everyone apart. Smashes it in the top corner. Beautiful finish. That is what Nick Mills can do. You do not give him the ball in that amount of space because he has just got the power, the pace and the dribbling to get past you. Just like that. What a finish from Nick Mills. 2-0 to Palace. Six goals in the Carabao Cup. Plus 19 in the Premier League. This kid is on fire. There we go. Let's go again. Come on, I offer. Oh, great save from Gazzaniga there. If it was 3-0, this tie's over. And again, Barbo. Oh, that touch was poor. So close, but the touch was poor. Oh, he's lost it. That's it. Oh! Ref, you had to buy the whistle just before I had a chance. I'll take it though. That's a much better performance from the one that was against Southampton. Clearly in charge. You know, passing accuracy is much better. We are much better today. Let's keep it going. All round energy, technique, he's got the full package. Why are we letting him run? Boys! Boys! Why were we letting him run there? For God's sake, boys! You cannot take your eyes off Leeds. Oh, come on! Shit. Great save from Madison there. How have they got so much space? We need to sort this out. We've not been good this half. There we go, to Santos. He's not exactly where I wanted him to be, but can he finish it? No, he can't. Good save from Gazaniga. First chance we've had this second half. It's yours to win there. How have you lost that header? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, and a perfect ball now. Shit. Shit. Fuck's sake! Come on, boys! What are we doing? 2 0 up and we bottled it again. Oh, you've got to be killing me. Not Mills. Not Mills. Come on, boy. No. I've got to give it up to Ayala. Fuck's sake. Why Mills? Right, we're now playing with two up front. That's it. Come on, Dos Santos. Oh. Come on, Ayala. Come on, Ayala. This is your chance. Yes! Get in, Ayala! Oh, what a finish! God, that was hard work. That was very, very hard work. What a tie we are in for at Ellen Road. 
let's look at this again. Magical or the Mount Point the Arena, whatever it's called. Oh, Johnson, sorry. I thought it was Ayala. Great finish there. Needed that goal. God fucking hell. We just about scraped through the first leg. Luckily, away goals don't count, but Jesus Christ, 14 shots to 5. How did they get back in that game? We should have been out of sight by half time. <laughs> Why? Why does he have to be out for another seven fucking months? Done his ACL again. He's actually done his ACL again. I'd much rather have Gomez Camacho there. You know, I could definitely get him for a cheap price as well because I think he's only got six months left. Okay, so I did sign Gomez Camacho and they actually wanted Solomon Samuel as part of the deal. But I rejected it because he's definitely got potential here. Um, he's 80 rated. Be very a decent handy little backup for us in case you need it because Mills is going to be out for a long time. The only other two strikers I had was Ayala and Jonsson. I didn't have another striker. I had Echebana but I want to keep him out on loan. I'm not going to recall him now, you know. Um, so yeah, that was the only two strikers I had. So it's good to bring a backup in. He's 80 rated. He's he's definitely the Ronaldo regen. Could probably, you know, train him up a little bit here. Put a development plan on him. Let's get his weak foot up because that's probably what's letting him down. Now put him on a complete striker. Get his weak foot up and see what he does from there. Okay, there's only one man I found from England from this last scouting report. Logan Lee, um, 17 years old, 850 grand of evaluation, the rest are all trash, so that will end our time here in England. And unfortunately there was nothing from Croatia or Germany, so I'm going to send the scouts out again. Um, I'm going to go to a country that I've not actually been to before, Ivory Coast, because I've not actually had a look in Ivory Coast. I'm going to go to Algeria for nine months at any. I'm going to go to Canada for nine months as well, let's have a look there. And that is where I'm going to conclude today's episode of the Crystal Palace career mode. Um, I will save the Tottenham and Man United games for the next episode. Um, I will get through the rest of um, January. Then we go into February and I will play the game against Liverpool and the first leg of the um, Champions League knockout against Barcelona. So it's going to be a packed episode next episode. Um, we are now going towards the business end of the season. Um, yeah, let's see if we can continue our... Well, let's hope we can put an end to this bad form. We've got a very fortunate last-minute winner from Mikel Jonsson today against Leeds. But, yeah, it's been a very disappointing episode today. Let's put it bluntly like that. As we start to build towards FIFA 22 and more Crystal Palace content coming up soon on the channel. So, until next time, take it easy.